Hallelujah. Something is about to happen right now. Something is about to happen. So I want you, at the count of three, I want you to go crazy. I don't know if you're going to lift your neighbor, your chair, or whatever. Are you ready, somebody? One, are you ready, somebody? Two, are you ready, somebody? Three, come on, somebody, celebrate. Come on, somebody. Can... Uh, look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, I'm disappointed. Is this how you celebrate your breakthrough? Is this how you celebrate your miracle? If this is the way, then uh, I guarantee you there is no miracle for you. Come on, just smile at the neighbor, hallelujah. Just smile at the neighbor, hallelujah. Umu Jehovah! Efuli Minyang! Today we want, to, we want to start it very slow. Are you ready, Dad? Umu Jehovah! You know why, why, why I am like this is because I understand this. So I, I, I want us to operate in the same level whereby we understand what we are saying. We are saying, when the Lord opens the door, nobody, nobody in heaven or on earth has the ability to grow. Are you ready, somebody? So I, wa I want you to go like this. Stand like this. And say, Omo Jehov, Efuli Minyang. Omo Jehov, Efuli Minyang. Let's go one more time. Hase umu Jehov. Epuli miyang. Umu Jehov. Epuli miyang. Hase umu Jehov. Epuli miyang. Umu Jehov. Epuli miyang.
Vamos con la luz. Corre. We are preparing now to get in. Are you ready, somebody? The gates are open. The doors are open. Now we want to get in. Are you ready, somebody? Are you ready? seven people tell them you're welcome in Holy Ghost Embassy. You are welcome, you are welcome, you are welcome. Greet somebody, greet somebody, tell them you are welcome, you are welcome, you are welcome. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Put up two hands for Jesus, whatever you are. Hallelujah. Take your seats in the heavenly places. Just give a high five to your neighbor. Tell them, neighbor, it's good to see you. You look so nice. Hallelujah. Look at your neighbor. Look at your neighbor. Tell them, neighbor, if you are not careful, I'm gonna implore you. Pow! Major! Tell me my neighbor. Neighbor. If you are not careful. If you are not careful. I will hijack. I will hijack. Your miracle. Your miracle. So be careful of me. So be careful of me. You are just seated. You are just seated. Next to a blessing terrorist. Next to a blessing terrorist. Pow! Can somebody run for a miracle here? Somebody to run for a miracle. Somebody to run for a miracle. Somebody to run for a miracle. I don't love to see space. I don't like it. I just don't like it. Hallelujah. Amen. I don't like it. I just don't like it. 
Praise God. My spirit is so much excited. Amen. Pow! Amen. Three things that I love. Number one, clapping hands. Number two, lifting up hands. Pow! Number three, having a joyous spirit. Amen. Those are my three ingredients that metamorphoses my life. It's good to see Professor. God bless you. How are you, sir? I was, uh, is it US? Yes. US. How was it? God bless you. You are welcome. Put your two hands for Professor. Pow! Hallelujah. Amen. We have got also uh, uh, Mr. Benjamin. He's a blessing in this church and the family. Uh, uh, it's good to see my daughter. She's back. She was in Zambia. Rise up. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Put your two hands for this wonderful family. Hallelujah. I've also seen a couple of my sons. Uh, that son of mine. God bless you from Botswana. God bless you. God bless you. Rise up. Rise up. God bless you. God bless you. I just want to take time to, to acknowledge some people. It's good to see Amanda. God bless you. Rise up my daughter. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. It's good to see my daughter from, she just came back from the US. US. God bless you. Put her two hands for her. I can see God is increasing the territories of this ministry. Hallelujah. It's good to see, see uh, Tele, Tele, where is he? And the family, Tele, 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 where are you? And the family, rise up. God bless you, my son and my daughter. Thank you so much for coming. God bless you. I want to celebrate every pastor for coming uh, this morning. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord favor you. All the men, just rise up, all the men in front. All the men. Put your two hands for all the men. Come on. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Have your seats. I believe that God is raising a mighty army of men. And very soon we are going to take over. And the third week of uh, September, we are having the gathering of men. Amen. It's a gathering of giants. Amen. Praise God. So it's going to be a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful time in the presence of God. It's good to see some people that I saw for quite a long time. That one, that daughter of mine, rise up. God bless you. God bless you. It's nice to see you. I know each and everybody. I know each and everybody. Look at me so that I can acknowledge you. It's good to see you, my daughter. God bless you. Put your two hands for her. Rise up. It's good to see you. It's good to see you. God bless you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh my God. It's good to see that woman. Rise up on her feet. Where is your husband? God bless you. Put your two hands for, for this wonderful woman. Hallelujah. It's good to see this man. I've not seen him for quite a long time. God bless you. Give me a high five. Come on. Put your two hands for Jesus. Wow. Hallelujah. Which other faces? Which other faces? Which other faces? I've got celebrities gathered here. Oh, yes. And I want, to, I want you to know that you are the greatest celebrity. Oh. Put your two hands for Jesus. How? I've got my son from Botswana, Moses. Moses is my PA from Botswana. Rise up. Put your two hands for Moses. How? God bless you. I've got Rashida. Rashida. She is my accountant in Botswana. Rise up, my daughter Rashida. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. I see. Where is Pastor Muntle? Pastor Muntle. I see, oh my God. Moses came with a wife. Rise up together. Let's celebrate them. God bless you, my daughter. God bless you, my son. Thank you for coming. Is that your daughter? Jesus. Rise up. Put your two hands for this wonderful family. God bless you. I love your spirit. And I love your family. Thank you for coming. Put your two hands for them. I want to celebrate all my daughters. Daughters of Zion. Where are you? I know they are this side. Put your two hands for daughters of Zion. Come on. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's good to see Lebo Hank. God bless you. It's good to see Winnie. God bless you. Winnie Kabiri. God bless you. Hallelujah. These are my wonderful daughters that God has blessed, blessed me with. Hallelujah. 
I'm a proud father. I'm getting fat because I have sons. And I have daughters. They pray for me. Praise God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Tell neighbor. Oh my God. Speak like you're from Unari State. Oh my God. Oh my God. I feel the anointing. I feel the anointing. I feel it. It's moving. It's moving. Hallelujah. Praise God. My wonderful press team, they are just looking so fagamantorious. Oh my God. You look beautiful. You look so extravaganza. You look so fantamaglorious. They look so superative, divine, prosperity. Put your two hands for the praise team. God bless you. God bless you. Thank you. Have your seats. Now listen to me. I had a vision for each and everybody. Oh my God. Is that my daughters? Rise up on your feet. You know yourself. God bless you. Do you know why? This is your church. This is where you belong. I'm your father. It's only your father who knows his children. I'm proud of you. I'm proud of you. I'm proud of you. God bless you. Thank you for coming. You know, one of the spirit that God has given me is the spirit of man. I don't know how God made me, but I have the ability to record everyone in my spirit. I record everyone in my spirit. Like, like that woman there, that one, that one there. I've not seen her for the past two months. That one there. Stand up. For the past two months, you have not been here. Is it true? Huh? It's two weeks. I've not seen you. Yes. Two weeks. Do you see that? But I've been recording in my heart. Do you see that? Do you know that? Even when a mother has 100 children, she will know them one by one. Do you know that? That's a heart God gave me. Even, you are, even we are 7,000, I will know you personally. Amen. So put your two hands for Jesus. <laughs> Praise God. It's good to see this wonderful man from my father's place. God bless you. God bless you. Thank you for coming. God bless you. Give me a high five. Put our two hands for him. Hallelujah. I have my son from Gabon. Rise up my son. Prophet Pierre. Prophet Peter. God bless you. Thank you for coming. May the Lord lift you. Do you know what? He left Gabon. He just came to attend the service. Wow. Just imagine. God bless you. Thank you. Uh, God bless you. Thank you. Have a seat. Uh, how do you say I love you in French? Je t'aime. Je t'aime. Uh, je t'aime. Lift your hand and say je ne sois. Je ne sois. Say je ne sois. Je ne sois. Je ne sois in French it means I receive. 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 Shout it like you are crazy. Receive. 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 La grâce de Dieu. Je ne sois. Put the two hands for Jesus. Hallelujah. My God, my God, my God. I don't know why I'm happy. I'm happy. Shh, shh, shh. I'm not happy. I'm happy. Oh. Tell them I am not happy. I am not happy. I am happy. I am happy. I am happy. Major. That happy. 
It's too much. Say it's too much. It's too much. Hallelujah. Amen. Now, the word of God is going to be coming to you very uh, uh, soon. And uh, God is going to send his word in power. And lives will be transformed. Destinies will be changed. Amen. I told you that uh, you don't need a lot of things. All what you need is a prophetic word. That can catapult you to your destination. So this morning, I'm going to metamorphose your destiny. By the power of the spoken word. Amen. So we're going to do a lot of uh, reading of scriptures. And uh, you are going to be blessed. I receive it. Lift up your iPad. Lift your iPad. <laughs> you have an iPad. God bless you. I love people that have got iPads. Can I be your friend? Oh, those who have got iPads, after the service, I will see you. <laughs> Say, I receive. See. Those who have got Bibles, man your Bibles, lift them up. All of you, I will see you next week. <laughs> Hallelujah. It's good to see my son from uh, uh, Mozambique, Jobs. God bless you. Rise up, put your two hands for him. I love you. Thank you so much. Have a seat. It's a blessing. He got born again in my hands. In my hands. And you know, very soon God is going to be using him in the prophetic. In the prophetic. Put your two hands for Jesus. Where did you buy it? I had a vision. And in that vision, I saw in the vision, you gave me this iPad. Is it true? Confirm whether it's true. <laughs> Hallelujah. Can I tell you what to do? If you want something from somebody, don't go and tell them that I'm in problem. I need this. You must use what we call wisdom monology. Are you listening? You go to them. You say, brother, you know what? You know, last night I had a dream about you. You package yourself. They say, in that dream, I saw you. You took me to the garage. the garage, I saw you gave me a Mercedes Benz. Is it true? Oh. <laughs> Praise God. Lift up your Bibles. Lift up your Bibles. Say, this is my Bible. Come on, lift it higher. Say, this is my Bible. This is my Bible. I believe, believe is the, the Word of God. I am what the Word says I am. I am what Holy, Spirit, Holy Spirit, teach me your Word. Teach me in the name of Jesus, name of Jesus. shout amen. amen. Put up two hands for Jesus Christ. Now, this morning, I want to teach you about something that has blessed my heart. And uh, the will of God is that you may move in dimensions of favor. In dimensions of success. The glory of God is not the glory of one level. The glory of God is the glory of different levels or different dimensions. That's the reason God removes us from one glory to another glory. From that glory to another glory. From one blessing to another blessing. From one success to another success. So in another way, whatever you have, whatever you have, it is not the end of the blessing. Whatever car that you have, it is not the end of cars. They are better cars that God has bestowed for you. And the will of God this morning is that he may take you from one glory to another glory. From that glory to another dimension of glory. 
Lift your hand and shout, I receive it. I receive it. Lift your hand and shout, I receive it. I receive it. So I am talking about and common grace. And common grace. And common grace. And common grace. Are you there? Lift your hands and say, and come on grace. Lift your hands and shout, and come on grace. And come on grace. Shout it again. And come on grace. Shout it like you are shouting to your husband. And come on grace. Shout it like you are shouting for your miracle. And come on grace. Are you ready? Huh? Jesus. John. Chapter. Number one. Verse. Eleven. Verse. Eleven. Please listen to me. As you are writing, you must concentrate on me. Listen to me. As you be writing, listen to me. Concentrate. Praise God. Amen. John chapter number one. Verse 13. Can we read it together on, on the screen? I want us to read it together on the screen. One, two, three, go. Listen, I want us to start from verse number 12, verse number 12, verse number 12, so that you get the genesis, the genesis of what I'll be talking about. Praise God. Verse number 12. Let's read together. One, two, three, go. But as many as received him, to them gave the power to become the sons of God, even unto them that believed on him, on his name. Verse number 13. One, two, three, go. Number 14. One, two, three, go. Number 14. the word was made flesh my God and the word was made flesh and the word became a reality and the word became material Amen. listen to me the word of God without manifestation it is the dead word that's the reason the Bible says the kingdom of God is not just in words the kingdom of God is not just in words, but the kingdom of God or the kingdom of his dear son, the kingdom of Jesus Christ is a kingdom of manifestation or demonstration. Amen. So when I say you are blessed, the word must manifest. So the Bible said, then the word did what? Became flesh and dwelt among us. Go back to, to, to 14. Go back to 14. Go back to 14. Let's read 14. 1, 2, 3, go. Listen. And the word was made flesh and dwelt among us. Okay? And we behold his glory. Lift your hand and say, I will behold his glory. His glory. The glory as, as of the only begotten son or oh, 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 Begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth. Lift your hands, say, full of grace. Full of grace. Let me start my teaching now. Amen. And we behold the glory of the Father, full of grace. Do you know why God is full of grace? Do you know why we call God that he's a graceful God? It's because he is full of grace. He does not give you half grace. He does not give you quarter grace. 
When he wants to give you, he gives you full grace. Amen. Why do we call him that he is merciful? Because his mercy are full. He does not just have uh, 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 compassion meant or compassion half. He gives you everything. He gives you his mercy. When he wants to heal you, he does not heal you half. He heals you fully. Amen. The reason why we call him graceful is because his grace is full. Can I talk to somebody here? Oh, yes. God is going to give you full of grace. I receive it. He will give you full grace. I receive it. Not half grace. He will give you full grace. I receive it. He will give you full grace in your I business. I receive it. We call him that he is graceful. It's because his grace is full. His grace is full in marriage. His grace is full in ministry. His grace is full financially. His grace is full in any area of your life. His grace is full in the area of relationship. His grace is full in your academics. Can I talk to somebody here? Receive the fullness of grace. Receive the fullness of grace. Receive the fullness of grace. The Bible says, we received the fullness of grace it was not half grace it was not quarter grace the grace that God gave you it was the fullness of grace it was the overdose grace it was the complete grace are you listening to me here God God bless you in fullness he bless you in seven times say I am blessed I am blessed the Bible said, we behold. We behold his glory. And as we behold his glory, the Bible said, we were full of grace. You know what? In life, if you are not graceful, you are in disgrace. In life, if you are not graceful, sir, you are in disgrace. It is grace that makes life better. It not not just normal grace. It is full grace. Oh, you are not hearing me here. It is what? Full grace. This grace is called uncommon grace. Which means there is another favor. There is another grace. But this one supersedes the normal. I prophesy. Receive of no more grace. Receive of no more grace. Receive of no more grace. Say I receive. See that? This grace, it is not a normal grace. This grace is abnormal. This grace is, is not found everywhere. This grace, it cannot be, it cannot be compared. This grace is extraordinary. Extravaganza. When it comes upon a man, it is like a divine perfume that decorates a person, that decorates an ugly woman. Can I prophesy? After today, you shall be decorated. You shall be decorated by uncommon favor. Say, I receive it. I receive it. Say that. Power. This is not the normal favor. I know you have been enjoying favor. But this one is extraordinary. This one is beyond normal. Are you listening to me here? Whenever you see a man, he's seated and he's producing result. It is not normal favor. It is uncommon favor. When you see an ugly woman, she gets married. It is not normal favor. It is extraordinary favor. When you see somebody who did not go to school, he's driving a Rolls Royce. It is not normal favor. It is uncommon favor. I prophesy. Receive a common favor. Receive a common favor. I receive. Say I receive. I receive. Sit down. Power. It is not normal favor. This one is different. This one is extraordinary. When it comes upon a man, it makes an ugly man to be married to an angel. Say, I need a common grace. I need a common grace. 
Hannah yeah. shot it seven times. I need a common grace. 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 We 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 are we we are blessed with what we call full grace. Do you know what it means for grace? For grace it means because spiritually you are like a container. That's the reason the Bible says my cup runneth over. When God gives you grace, this grace begins to overflow. Listen, he does not give you money just for you. He does not just give you money for your one generation. He gives you money for the fourth generation. Can I prophesy? I receive the grace of God. I receive it. will overflow. I receive it. will overflow. I receive it. Say I receive. I receive it. Pow. Hey. This grace is uncommon. Are you listening to me here? Oh, yes. This grace, it is not normal. This grace is unfair. Ah. This grace is extravaganza. Ah. This grace is braggadocious. Ah. This grace is supersonic. Ah. This grace is superlative. Ah. When it comes upon a man, I receive everything it. about him changes. I receive Even it. the color of his skin changes. I receive Say, it. I receive that for that. I receive it. Sit down. You know why you cannot go beyond your vocabulary? It's because you have got no more vocabulary. Do you know why you cannot prosper? It's because your genes, your father's genes, they are a limitation to your destination. the reason in this life to walk without favor without uncommon favor it is like a man driving a car without tires there are many destinies that are moving but they are not progressing your moving does not mean you are progressing it is uncommon favor that brings attainment that brings success that brings accomplishment whenever you must accomplish your intended purpose you need to understand the ingredients of div- of, of uncommon favor uncommon favor this is not normal favor this is a different kind of a favor this is a divine favor this is a favor that makes life better Marriages better, that makes ministries better. Yes. Let other people suffer, yes. and common favor cannot make you suffer. Ah. I have said, Me in my ministry, I will never suffer. Sit down, say, Uncommon favor. What is uncommon favor? Uncommon favor is whereby you are seated, you are seated, and you are making money. What is uncommon favor? It's whereby you have made a mistake. You have made a mistake. And the judge looks at your face. He says, you, your case dismissed. Say, I need uncommon favor. I need a common favor. Lift your hand and shout it like you are crazy people. I need a common favor. So, this full grace is not a bad grace. Listen, when God blesses you with a husband, he does not bless you with a half-husband. You are not here. How? He does not bless you with a what? With a half-husband. You know a half-husband? Sinjonjo. You know Sinjonjo? Eh? <laughs> this side is with mercy. The other side is with Ruth. When God blesses you with a husband, is a full husband, ah. a grown-up husband, ah. a responsible husband, ah. a loving husband. Ah. Are you listening, somebody? Ah. When God look, the full grace is a divine package invested in the life of a believer. Look, it is uncommon grace that makes 
able to chop life with 32 fingers. Ah. It is an uncommon grace that makes a widow to get married at 70. Ah. It is an uncommon grace that makes a baba, baba ah. of 90 to ah. get married to a 32 years old. When you sit, you try to do your calculation, you try to do your mathematics, you can't find the answer. Why? It is divine calculated. Amen. You sit, look, and common grace, a man called Bishop David to a devil. He's gathering about 300,000 every Sunday. How do you call that? It is beyond human strength. It is beyond human capacity. It is only the doing of uncommon grace. It is uncommon grace that will multiply. It is uncommon grace that brings, uh, that brings addition to the church. Listen, if you're a man of God, you don't have uncommon grace. You will labor like an elephant and eat like a rat. How do you call it? Bishop David Oedepo, right now, he's building, he's building uh, a 100,000 seater church. Seated. No sponsorship. Yet you, when you want to start a job, you need a sponsor. No sponsorship. How do you call that? Uncommon grace. A man called David Young John, he has the largest gathering on the face of the earth. The man cannot prophesy. The man cannot even heal. Yet, his duty is only to pray. Thousands are following him. How do you call that? Uncommon grace. A man, a man, a man without uncommon grace. He can never attend to anything. He can, ne he can never go to another level. It is uncommon grace that graduates your life. That graduates your financial life. If you don't have these ingredients of uncommon grace, you will remain without normal grace. Ah. Are you listening? Yes. There are people in the church whenever they want a car, all what they are thinking is I must go and buy. Yet there are people that are enjoying cars that they did not buy. There are people that are sleeping in the houses they did not build. How do you call that? And common grace. I Can I prophesy to you? I receive it. After today, you shall sleep in houses I that will never bear us. I receive it. You will drive cars I receive it. that are beyond your size. I receive it. You hold the money I receive it. that you have never seen before. I receive it. Wow. Uncommon grace. If you don't have this uncommon grace, you will labor and labor. You will labor and labor. I have seen people who don't labor in ministry. And that's a level that God is taking D.D. Isaac. Oh. Are you listening to me here? Oh. My name is D.D. Oh. Isaac. I don't carry mosquito oh. oil. I don't carry chicken oil. Oh. I carry fresh oil. Oh. I prophesy. Oh. Receive fresh oil. I receive it. Receive fresh grace. I receive Say I receive. I receive. Say fire. Yeah, 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 yeah. Fire. Lift your hands and fire. Oh yes! Whenever you carry and common grace, enemies are at peace with you. Those that are against you, they begin to laugh with you. Those that don't desire to see your face, they begin to look for they begin to look for you because you are the only one to solve their equation. Can I prophesy? Number zero it. cannot fight with number oh. one. When you receive number one grace, oh. ay, 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 It here. Bridget. Put my microphone. I want to feel myself. Major. Listen. Uncommon grace. <laughs> it makes you dress while you don't go to a boutique. I receive it. I am enjoying in my life. 
I am enjoying without stress. Listen, I am too fat to be stressed. Ah. Don't ever, I am too fat. I am too fat. To be stressed. To be stressed. Major. Listen, every Sunday, I don't think of what to put on. Ah. The moment I wake up, a son of mine is waiting with a new suit. Ah. How do you call that? And come on, Grace. Grace. Are you listening to me here? Oh, yes. Are you listening to me here? Oh, yes. Every Sunday, putting on a new suit. Ah. Putting on a new suit. Ah. Putting on a new tie. Ah. Decorating your hair. Ah. Looking like a white man. Ah. Yet you are a black man. Ah. Then I prophesy. Ah. Receive and come on, Grace. Receive. Receive and come on, Grace. Receive and sit down. Are you listening? Oh, yes. You sit down where others are waiting for you. You sit down yet your business is moving forward. You sit down yet your church is expanding. I How it. do you call that? And come on, grace. Can I prophesy? I In it. your business, I you it. shall receive and come on grace. I it. In your marriage, I it. you shall receive and come on grace. I Say I receive it. I receive it. Sit down. Major. Without uncommon grace is like her coming out of the bathroom without applying lotion. Oh. <laughs> Major. It is uncommon grace that removes the natural odor. Oh. Ay, 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 ay. Oh. It removes the what? The natural odor. You stop smelling like a bush. You stop smelling like a bush animal. You smell cowness. You smell like you're from Sorrento. Major, major, major. Sit down. Are you listening? Oh yes. It is what and common grace that removes the demonic odor. You stop smelling like a local champion. You stop smelling like you're from. City. Ah. You start smelling like you are from Soweto. Ah. You start smelling like you are from Santo. Ah. The life in Santo is different ah. from the life in Cosmo. Ah. And I prophesy, oh, yes. it is uncommon grace ah. that will remove somebody ah. from nothing ah. into something. From no entity to celebration. Give to an shout hallelujah. Ah. Are you listening to me here? Oh, yes. 
sitting your hair in style. Uh-huh. Are you listening to me here? Uh, yes. Where you be 80, looking like you are 30. Uh-huh. Even 30 years men, they begin to propose you. Uh-huh. He said, Sister, I am looking for you. Uh-huh. And come on, grace. Am I talking to somebody here? Uh-huh. Say, I receive a common grace. I receive a common grace. Major Papa, you are too and much. Come on, Grace. There is a process that is called maker process. Amen. It is uncommon grace that decorates a lady, my wife. Power! Major Mom. The one who brought makeup. <laughs> it is uncommon grace that removes even the pimples, uh-huh. even the wrinkles. And common grace deals with it. Uh-huh. Major. <laughs> I receive it. Shall I receive it? I receive it. Lift your hands, say Genesua. Genesua. And come on, and come on, what? Grace. My daughter, listen to me. They look. You will not go to hell for putting on makeup. Oh. Oh. Talking to some ladies here. Yeah. Oh, you're not hearing me here. Ah. Are you listening? Yes. You will not go to hell for putting on the trousers. Amen. Major. Oh, yes. I don't want to raise a bush church. Uh-huh. To raise bush champions. Oh yes! I want to raise a fire rice beautify. <laughs> so I've told you uncommon grace what it does. It's like a woman going for beauty parlor, removing all the pimples. Are you listening to me here? Amen. They use what we call face scrub. Face scrub. They scrub the face. They remove all those spots. And then when she comes out, when you look at her, you say, is this you? Uh-huh. Why? And come on, Grace. Her face has changed. Her finances has changed. Oh, yes. Her marriage has changed. Oh, yes. Her car has changed. Oh. Her house has changed. Oh. Her appearance has changed. Oh. Her suit has changed. Oh. Her decoration has changed. Oh. And come on.
Stop applying perfume. And they will see how you smell. <laughs> we will not see it. We will not see it. We say, Holy Ghost fire. You can never stand with a natural smell. When I talk about a natural smell, I am talking about generational curses. Are you listening to me here? I am talking about family powers. I am talking about uh, 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 a spirit of limitation that fights a man because he's born of a natural place. He's born of a natural birth. That's the reason Jesus said, what is born of the spirit is of the spirit. And what is born of the water is of the water. So if you are born naturally, you will suffer natural demons. If you are born physically, you will suffer physical demons. That's the reason a spiritual perfume must come to remove a natural odor. Uh -huh. So divinity is the answer of humanity. Amen. I am not talking about physical perfume that you must go and buy perfume and apply. There are some of you, you have applied perfume yet spiritually you are smelling limitation. Haya, lift your hand and shout, I receive on top of your voice. I receive. What is uncommon grace? Uncommon grace is divine perfume, decorating, invading, perfuming a man, removing the odor of sickness, the odor of limitation, the odor of frustration, the odor of waking like an elephant and eating like a rat, removing that odor, decorating your face, decorating your nature, decorating your church, decorating everything about you, whereby you become enviable, you become, you become good for the eyes. Some of you, in, in, in spiritually, you are like a masquerade. You know a masquerade? Do you know it? I don't know whether here in South Africa you have them. Do you have them? Yes. Chinyao. In my country, it's called Chinyao. Or Gule. Gule Wamkuru. Say Gule. Gule. <laughs> Listen to me. When you are here in this church, you must learn my language. Are you listening to me here? Mwanvera. Hey, Mwanvera. Mwanvesesa. Eh? Nikamba ati. Nikamba ati. Bena ngo muno. Mwoneka. Spiritually. Kwa ti gule wa mkuru. Power. Mwoneka kwa ti vinyao. Because there was an... Mfeshiano. Mfeshiako. Vanai chinja. Mu spirit. Now, because vanai chinja mfeshiako, sunga shite receive favor ya munungu. Manifesesa. Manifesesa. So, chif, chifuniro cha murungu. Chifuniro cha murungu. Chikondi cha murungu. Oh, yes. Murungu afuna timu darisike. Kudarisika kwa pa mwamba maningi. God wants you to be blessed. I receive it. The blessing beyond measure. Amen. The blessing beyond calculation. Amen. Where your mind cannot calculate. Amen. Mani vera. Say na kumvera. Somebody saying, Papa, what are you talking? I'm speaking in tongues. Ask one interpretation. The Bible says, <laughs> Say, I receive interpretation. I receive interpretation. Mani Vera. Say, Nakum Vera. Huh? Kanu Vera. Yeah, you're right. Power. Are you listening? So what is uncommon grace? Uncommon grace is divine perfume. Perfuming a man. Removing the odor of failure. Removing the odor of untimely death. Removing the odor of sickness. HIV, cancer. Removing the odor of starting and not finishing. Removing the odor of becoming beautiful. And growing up without no man. So divine perfume. It is what decorates a person. So what is uncommon?
common grace. It is divine perfume inventing natural smell. Number two, what is divine perfume? <laughs> divine oh, and common grace. What is uncommon grace? Uncommon grace, it is superlative strength of God inventing the weakness of a man. <laughs> superlative strength invading the weakness of a man. <laughs> it is superlative, the almightiness of God, the all-powerfulness of God invading your weakness. Whereby you sit down and you look at your accomplishment, you look at your attainment in life, you look at how, how much you have accomplished. You cannot even trace how it was done. How do you call that? Divine strength invading the weakness of a person. Whereby Whereby you ask yourself, how did I get married to this man? Because you'll be looking like a witch doctor. The man will be looking like a, like an angel. You sit down when, you are, when he's walking. You ask yourself, how did I get married to this man? Because the man is well furnished. And you look at yourself, you look like mama, 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 mufo. Why? I watched, listen, listen. I watched, I watched something on Facebook. They were condemning a certain lady. He said, why did she get married? She's very ugly. I think some of you saw it on Facebook. Huh? She got married. She's from where? She's from Zambia. She's from, she, she got married. And people were saying, no, she's ugly, ugly. How did she? She got, look, ugly, ugly, uglyfied. <laughs> I repeat again, what? Ugly what? Ugly there is an ugly and someone who is <laughs> Listen. In the views of these men who are persecuting her, they say she's ugly. But in the views of the man, the man saw a beautiful lady. This is what we call uncommon grace. Whereby a witch doctor gets married to an angel. You are an angel up to now. You are, you are a professional bachelist. Oh my God. <laughs> you are a professional what? Bachelist. You are a bachelor. You have got a master's degree. <laughs> PhD. <laughs> And masters of <laughs> oh, 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 DD, doctor of divinity. A man is a doctor in bachelorism. How come that you are beautiful and you are not getting married? You need to understand that people that don't get married just like that, people that don't get employed just like that, people that don't just get uh, uh, money just like that, there is a need of ingredients. So when we talk about uncommon grace, uncommon grace is divine strength inventing the weakness of a man. It's what brings achievement. You will never achieve anything with your physical strength. Listen to me. Ibaradosh. Zomprakia Daba. What I see today, I see from here to that corner. I receive. I see angels going speed. I receive it. Sit down. What is uncommon grace? Uncommon grace is what? Divine strength. Doing what? Invading the weakness of a man. Some of you, you don't know how to cook, but you are married to a nice man. When you tell you cook, I have burnt offering. Some of you men, you are not even good looking. Let's just be realistic. <laughs> You are not even just good looking. <laughs> if it's not the grace of God. If it is not the grace of God. Imagine. Let me tell you. <clears throat>
let's remove the grace of God and remain the way you are. Aya. Number three, what is grace? Let me explain on the grace and I will show you, I will show you the benefits of grace. What is grace? Number three point. Grace is simply the license for every believer on the road to destiny. Grace is simply the license of every believer on the road or on the way to destiny. Let me tell you, child of God, in this lifetime, on your way to destiny, there are police officers, there are traffic officers, they have been licensed by the devil to stop you. And what they do, they'll begin to check you. They'll begin to check whether you are licensed. And if they see that you don't have the license, they'll impound you and impound your car. So a man without uncommon grace, uncommon favor, he'll be stopped. He will suffer from calamity. He will suffer from all manner of delay. You are suffering from delay. It is a sign that something is missing over your head. How come that others, they prosper in one year? You, you prosper in 11 years. How come others, they get married in two months? You, your wedding, it has been hmm, Marusha Balia Ikarush. It has been postponed seven times. How come? It is a sign that there's something that is wrong. How come that other ministries, they prosper in two years and your ministry in 22 years? You, for 22 years, you have had 22 members. So every year, one member. The other year, one member. 22 years with 22 members. Where are you? You can't see that business opportunities, they come. But every time you're about to sign, there is another demonic hand that comes just to confuse everything. It, you are lacking the license of favor. It is the license of favor that will cause you pass through borders. It is the license of favor that will make life better. It is the license of favor that will make you cross over. Eleven people hearing the sound of my voice. If I be a prophet of Jehovah, I receive, it. receive and come on grace. I receive, it. receive and come on grace. I receive it. The crazy you are receiving, the crazy you are receiving. I receive it. Peter, look, how come that you you are qualified to have a job? They continue rejecting you. The one who rejected you is a police officer hired by the devil. The devil has got girlfriends. The devil has got police officers. The devil has got presidents. That is using. How come? By this time, they were supposed to approve the issue of your car. Huh? 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 They're supposed to approve your what? Huh? My car. Huh? My car. Your car. And they did not. Do you know why? I'm talking to you prophetically. Do you know why? Sit down, I'll tell you. This man, he has been applying for cars. And they are not even accepting him. You know why? <laughs> Listen. Do you want your car? To be approved. Yes. Listen, no. What yes. I'm telling you. Listen. Yes. Sit down. How come? How come? That another unqualified person will go and apply for the job and you qualified. You apply for the same job. The one who is unqualified will be accepted and the one who is qualified rejected. The difference there is a common grief. A lot of people ask me, say, Prophet D.D. Isaac, Major, how do you do it? How do you do it? How do you do it? I say, sir, I've got, I've got no description of, of how God uses me. This is the doings of Jehovah. This is the finger of God. 
So, and common grace is simply the license for every believer on the way to destiny. Listen, every time when you have destiny, never forget to carry the license of uncommon grace. Never forget to carry the license of uncommon grace. Listen to me. I have ever entered a service like this. Preach, preach. Another man just from nowhere. He said, man of God, I want to see you. From nowhere. Gave me 50,000 US dollars. I felt like collapsing. How much is 50,000 US dollars here? How much is it? Huh? Is it 400 or something? Huh? Huh? 650 cash and he went cash huh? there is a level where God begins to bless you <laughs> without stress when ever, look if it is you who bought that car there is no uncommon grace uncommon grace is whereby you drive cars that you did not buy you sleep in car, you sleep in houses that you need you did not build. That's what we call uncommon grace. That's the reason I believe that God will raise mad billionaires in this church. One who just stand up. He said, Prophet, tell me everything that you need. I, I want this. to buy you a light. Receive that uncommon grace. Receive, receive, receive. receive. receive it. How? Number four, the last one. What is uncommon grace? <laughs> what is uncommon grace? Uncommon grace is divine vaccine against every polio. Divine vaccine against spores of darkness. Whenever you are vaccinated, you are exempted from calamity. It is vaccine that will cause the devil to run away from you. It is the vaccine of uncommon grace that will make the devil to know in his mind that this one is untouchable. The ministry of this woman, it is untouchable. The business of this woman, it is untouchable. So it is uncommon grace, which is a, a, a vaccine in the life of a believer. You know what it means, a vaccine? A vaccine, a vaccine is, is a medicine. It's, it's, it's like, it's like a, a prevention. It's like a prevention. A medicine to prevent you from getting sick. A medicine to prevent you from having headache. A medicine to prevent you from having delay. A medicine to prevent you from having a, a, a success syndrome. So, and common and common grace, it is a vaccine that will prevent you from experiencing limitation, frustration, divorce, divorce, uh, 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 untimely death, untimely death, and also a uh, 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 failure in business. Most of you, you are experiencing failure is because you are not yet vaccinated. I remember years ago. I think two, two years ago when my son was born. My wife took him for vaccination. They removed the clothes of the boy. The boy was crying. Yeah, daddy, daddy, daddy. The doctor, the doctor was not even listening. He said, here, there's no your father. I will inject you. Daddy, daddy, daddy. While the boy was crying. <laughs> he just had the injection. The boy cried. The boy cried for two days. The boom boom. Go swallow it. He came to me, he was showing me, he said, Daddy, look at me. I'm swallowed. I said, My son, it's good for you. If you are not vaccinated, my son, I wouldn't have had you. Or you cannot even grow up very well. So it's important for you to be what? Vaccinated. And as the boy was vaccinated, I promise you, the boy has been growing stronger, 
and stronger and stronger. Not even malaria has ever touched him. Why? He's vaccinated. Are you listening to me here? So the vaccine of uncommon grace, when it it, it, when it enters your system, it it makes you it it makes you stronger. It makes your business stronger. It makes your ministry stronger. You stop experiencing delay. I prophesy. Receive and come on, grace. I receive. Say I receive it. I receive it. Receive the vaccine of uncommon grace. I receive it. Oh my God, can I speak to you? This one here. The Lord is about to remember you. The Lord is about to remember you. I see battles. I receive. I see battles. You are crying financially. Yes, Papa. You are crying financially. Yes, Papa. I see ahead of you seven blessings. I receive. That Papa. are going to come to you. I receive, Papa. In the month of September. I receive, Papa. I see you applying. I see you applying and being rejected. Yes, Papa. It's because true, I Papa. see Parashalia. There is something to do with firing. Firing. It's true, Papa. Firing. Firing. It's true, Papa. Look, what? they were supposed to fire me and then you They're supposed to fire you. Yes, you presented. presented Put your two hands for Prophesy. Jesus. Prophesy. Major. Receive and come a grace. I receive it. I just don't like the way you receive. I receive it. Receive and come a grace. I receive it. Do you know how to receive your people? I receive it. You lift your hand and say, I receive it. I receive it. Say, I take, I take, I take. I take, I take, I take. I take, I take. Sit down. If you are not forceful in this stage, you are not needed. They are supposed to fire you. Yes, Papa. I see battles in the area of your employment. It's true, Papa. The CEO was fired. Remember you said you were going to fire them and the CEO is fired. He's, he's going in September, Papa. Major! Papa, you are too much! Sit down. Listen, prophecy, prophecy is not mentioning names. When I mention your name or when I mention detailed about your life, it means it's just a confirmation or to give you confidence of what the prophet will talk about you in future. So when I mention your name, it's no prophecy. But prophecy is God's message for your life. Whether good or bad. It's God's message. You need to understand prophetic, prophetic, prophetic prophecy. Because most people, they want their names to be mentioned. But they don't want to hear what God is saying about their lives. And they don't celebrate the, the message from God. So it is very important when the prophet is talking, get the sense, get what he's talking about you. In the future, some of the prophecy, it can be for your future, present and past. So it's very important for you to be spiritual and listen to what God is saying. So I see God, I see God yes. fighting for you. Amen. I receive, Papa. I see God fighting for you. Yes, I receive, Papa. There is a lot of rejection that I see because the Lord says he's going to bless you from September to I November receive. and December. I receive, Papa. Now, I see a lifting Yes, Papa. You wanted to do business. I receive, Papa. You yes, wanted Papa. to do business. Yes, Papa. And it's like you are looking for a capital. A capital. Yes, Papa. But the law says, yes, whatever Papa. you have desired. Yes, Papa. For all these five years. Yes, Papa. The law says it has come by uncommon grace. I receive, Papa. I receive. I need to break an altar from your father's house. God, dear, I Papa. want to break for I need to break an altar from your father's house. Yes, There's Papa. an altar of premature death. Yes, Papa. Come here, come here, come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. Break. Bring it here. Shh. Break. Can I have oil? Give me oil. Pow. Give me oil, my oil. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Listen, listen. Prophecy is different. Prophecy. Never compare prophets. I repeat again. Never compare prophets. Because God has got different breeds of prophets. 